What's up guys and welcome to today's game show. Today we are unboxing and reviewing two kitchen knives from across the pond, as they say. Peter from Modern Cooking sent me two Birch and Bevel 230mm Kyoto's from the Carbon Steel line. One I keep. The other is going back to Berlin, AKA where modern cooking is located. So place your bets on if I keep the Bago candle or Master Birch handle, and you'll find out near the end of the video if you were right. Unboxing segment to follow shortly so you can see what these bad boys actually look like. Now quickly, Peter isn't only the owner and kitchen knife curator of modern cooking, a premium kitchen knife shop in Berlin. He is also a huge part and founder of the Birch and Bevel brand, which means if you want one, you can only get it at his shop. Birch and Bevel is a brand that relies on some of the best in the industry for individual components of a knife, like some of the best knife makers for the blade, the handle, marketing, and so forth. Though there are many chefs in the kitchen, it is worth noting that this particular carbon steel line is forged by Frederik Spar from Sweden with handles crafted by the Austrian Red Bull guzzling machine and smith Martin Huber. Last note, our boy Hendra from Chef's Knives Enthusiasts was sent the same pair but in 250 millimeters because as a pro chef he can handle all those millimeters, you know what I'm saying? So go check out his channel if you want to see the review of these knives but in their longer version than what I'm about to show you. Now, time for the 90 second unboxing, see you soon. The Birch and Bevel Carbon Steel Line is a mono steel construction made of 1.2419 steel, which is a low alloy German steel containing a healthy amount of chromium and tungsten, allowing it to achieve high levels of hardness. In this case, a HRC of 65. It has a beautiful textured Kurochi finish with a satin polish, which I'm curious to see how it will react once we start building patina. It has a convex grind and a spine thickness that moves from four millimeters at the heel to one millimeters at the tip. As I'm sure you've already noticed, the profile is more of an early days Western chef knife meets Kyoto in Japan kind of deal. Should make for a good rocking partner. Of course, we have two gorgeous handles to choose from. The classic Bagok, Bagok, Birch Bark and Brass, or the Master Edition, Master Birch, Makarta, G10 and Brass. So, first impressions, they are strong. S-T-R-O-N-G, that's right, I can spell. Let's remember, these are fully handmade kitchen knives and they have some of the best fit and finish I've seen on a knife, especially at this price range. 230 millimeters of handmade goodness for 508 Canadian or 380 USD for my American broskies. Now, the handles are both gorgeous. I immediately preferred the Master Birch as it reminded me of my time in Finland doing reindeer research watching all the Sami indigenous reindeer herders with their super cool birch handle outdoor knives. But the one piece I like better on the Bago handle is the stacked birch. I mean the actual orientation, a little messier, less linear. I find them almost too perfect on the master birch. So who knows, at this point I'm not giving away just yet which knife I am keeping. The weight of this knife is exceptional too, weighing in at 188 grams. Feels right for my small hands. Nice profile too, with lots of flat cutting edge surface along its blade path, always highly appreciated. And again, both being handmade, I can hardly tell any aesthetic quality finishes between both, which is super impressive. Very consistent fit and finish. Speaking of finish, how can you not appreciate a polished choil and spine. Now, 
time to talk about performance. Stick around to the end of the video and you'll see the knife demo in its entirety, but I will use clips from that section to give you my review right about now. I tried to put these blades through their paces, from cutting the softest of ingredients, tofu, to the hardest of ingredients I had on hand, butternut squash, to the smallest of ingredients I had on hand, garlic and capers, to the largest ingredients, butternut squash again. You know we had to do that cherry tomato test always and forever. Rock, chop, sweep, chop, push, cut, pull, cut, I did it all. Most knives I would never dare cut a hard root vegetable with, but this one instilled confidence in me and with the right technique, so no issues at all cutting squash or sweet potato. I also felt I had to do that slow carrot cut test so that I can see if the carrot would crack, which gives you some feedback and information on blade grind thickness, etc. I tested these bad boys on potatoes. Also felt I absolutely had to do this. This is a solid meat and potatoes kind of knife. I don't need a lot of red meat, but I always have some cured Italian meat on hand. So you betcha we cut prosciutto with this knife. Skin side of a bell pepper test, done. Onion test, done. In short, incredible fit and finish and performance, especially at this price. Great blade geometry and edge resiliency with the end user in mind. Great choice of steel. Fabulous well-crafted handles, flawless even. Initially, I thought the tip of the blade could have been a bit pointier, as looking at it really closely, I feel like it's almost been blunted, but upon use, not noticeable. Convex geometry in this particular knife isn't something I'd rave about. Knife performs well, food release isn't anything special however, and convex grind doesn't feel too pronounced. So sure, there is a convex grind, but not the selling point of these blades. Initially, I had trouble rocking the blade, but realized it was likely a user error, I was applying too much pressure. When I actually let the knife do the talking, it performed much better at rocking. Again, for the price, you'll seldom find a better performing knife. Great patina buildup, a great group of artisans, a stellar fit and finish. Highly recommend the Birch and Bevel Carbon Steel Line as your workhorse knife or simply a nice entry-ish level carbon yodo if you want to gift it to someone special in your life. So, in conclusion, in the words of an Austrian we all know very well, just do it, go buy it, buy it now. Birch and Bevel is where it's at. Melina, get to the chopper. Well, that's my review. Thanks, Peter, for sending me these wonderful knives. Oh, that's right, which am I keeping? Master Birch, of course. Enjoy the knife demo and let me know in the comments what you think of these knives, if you own one or if you have any questions. If you enjoyed this video, please, let's keep it safe. Like and subscribe as it goes a long way to supporting what I do. And until next time, knife nerds.